All right, so this is going to be a, a should be a fairly short video on mo line theory, how we do mo lines, um, how we get them onto our course. Um, really, when we talk about mo lines, uh, there are two types of mo lines that I do, um, and uh, the theory behind these, you could you could expand these and and do other things. Like see, some people do the aprons, and you could use the same theory when we talk about like the aprons, and um, there's lots of different ways that you can alter what I'm going to be doing if you understand it and, and apply it to your course. But there's two types of mo lines primarily that I'm that I deal with. There are one type under one is like the straight checkered slash parallel mo lines. The bottom line is the mo lines themselves are straight, but sometimes they're they're a checkered pattern, right? Which is really just two sets of mo lines overlapping. Okay. You could have the straight ones, but bottom line is the lines are typically parallel to each other. OK, so that's one type and that's done in one. That's how I do those a certain way. And then I have also the concentric ones and the concentric ones are like if you have a green and you want to do circular mo lines that go out from that green. OK, like when you throw a pebble into uh, uh, some water and the, the waves come out, those are concentric circles. So those are curved mo lines. OK, and they'll, they'll follow the shape of whatever you, you know, wherever you want them to follow. So when you create the straight, when we talk about the straight checkered slash parallel lines, how I do those is I just create a stripe pattern and I create a new layer in Inkscape with that pattern. It's very similar to what we do with the GFR, except this is a stripe pattern. So we create a, a pattern and the direction that you want that stripe, whether it's diagonal, you know, relatively or other diagonal or, or we'll, I'll show you, we're going to create probably like four of those. Um, we'll do, we'll do that. And um, and then we use a layer mask similar to what we did with cutting our GFRs with our Inkscape shapes. We're going to use a layer mask on those to reveal those as well. And then we'd play with the opacity a little bit. Um, same thing with, well, not same thing. Concentric are done considerably different. I actually do those inside of Inkscape. And then um, I'm importing another PNG inside of, of Photoshop to do the concentric ones. So there'll be two subsequent videos here, one for the straight checkered parallel technique and the other one for the concentric circles technique.